friends. Today on Gardening with Creekside, we are going to be hanging the heater in Production One Greenhouse. If you will remember, uh, this Production Greenhouse has not been heated. It has been basically essentially a cold frame. And last year we uh, <laughs> had a little incident of a night that got super cold and we lost some plants. And so we're like, you know, we don't wanna do that again. We're just gonna go ahead and have a heater here because of course we have the gas and everything with production two next door. So it's relatively really simple to go ahead and add a heater to this greenhouse. So on those nights that it dips really abnormally cold, we can pop this heat on and our plants will be protected. So it is the team of Jenny, Jerry and Josh. It is the Jays today here today working on this project. When Jerry and I hung, so when we did the production one, Jerry and I worked in mean, production two, Jerry and I worked together and then he hung the actual heater by himself using the machinery. So having three people on the job today and already having done it before, this should go really, really simple. Um, we're getting everything set up here. So Josh is on the ladder and then Jerry is on the little roof of the hallway. And what he is doing, um, we're gonna try to zoom up there for you, is he is starting to put on the first sets of brackets. Uh, there's gonna be two metal rails that this heater will hang on. And so he has already released some of the plastic up there so that um, it'll be easier to get the, the rails in. So the rails are right here on the ground. We do not have to cut them. This is how long they are. And then the heater will actually hang from this. So the heater is going to be essentially right kind of where Jerry is. It's gonna be off centered just a little bit. Um, that is just, it is the way it is and that's how it's gonna be. So like I said, we've already have one in production two and it's gonna look the exact same. So let me come over here right quick and uh, let me show you what it looks like in case you've not seen it before. These things are fantastic, I mean they, they can chunk out some heat for sure. So here we are now back in the next production greenhouse. And basically it looks like a big box, right? So the big box is actually the heater. And then if you can see those two rails that are running parallel towards me, that is what we're getting to install, ready to install first. Then once those are in there nice and secure, the heater actually hangs from um, four chains. So technically it could <laughs> sway, it doesn't, it's, it's pretty heavy and there's no wind in here. Uh, there are four eye bolts that screw directly into the heater, hook the chains in there, make sure everything's level, level and voila, there you go. So I thought it would be fun for you to see uh, a little work in action today. I know that we're spending a lot of time up here in this annex building in the last couple of videos, the last couple of weeks or whatever, but this is what's going on at Creekside right now. We are trying not only to get the annex finished and ready to go for spring growing and eventually shipping and production and all that stuff, but we've also got to get these two greenhouses ready to go because our first set of proven winter annuals are going to arrive. They're going to be here in two weeks. So they'll already be here and we've got to get them you know, nice and warm and toasty. So we're trying to button up really this, this production one is because we're just having to do a little bit of transformation upgrades on it. And so all that needs to be done. So without further ado, I'm just gonna kind of set the camera up and as things happen, I will give you updates and explain what is happening, but we're just gonna get everything set up, get everything kind of, get our game plan together and uh, get this heater hung up. And how tight do you need these heaters? As close as you can because we're going to have to put a bolt through it. You got one of the bolts handy? Yeah. Okay. Just enough air left in that plastic holding and clamping. Yeah. You want one too? I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll need one. I'll need one. Yeah. All right, so what we're doing right now is we learned from last time is that it's best to have the U-clamps on the um, arches before we 
hoist up this very <laughs> heavy. And that's that bracket now. Yes, and then we already have a, Jerry put the bracket on. So we'll lift this up and having three people, we can go ahead and slide this baby in there. So that's the plan. Right there. All right. All right, my friends, so I don't know if you can see me up here. Here I am. Um, so the boys obviously are on the ladder and I came up here on the little hallway roof, nice and secure up here, no worries. And because we had to make sure that the rail is flush with um, the hanger that it's with. So I've got a trusty hammer beating it in there and the boys uh, are getting it nice and secure and tightening down those bolts. And so then, so this first rail is hung and then we will do the exact same thing over here to the next one. They'll be about 21 inches apart. And uh, yeah, so there we go. Hold that. I'm holding. Hold it. I'm holding. Sure, I'm fat. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Okay. okay. Let's shoot towards. Now, if you could just go ahead and put it in the bracket. Okay. We gotta get, He's got a bracket. Does he not need to put it on? I need to put his on for him. Do you want it in yet? Or do you need some Just give me a minute. Okay, go ahead. Alright, you're going to have to lower it some. Uh -huh. Lower. Lower. So we got both of the rails on nice and successfully. Much easier than when Jerry and I did it by ourselves. I'm telling you, that extra set of hands makes all the difference in the world. So what they're doing now. is they are screwing some self-tapping screws um, from the bracket into the rail. That way the rail does not slide back and forth. So it is nice and secure and very loud. So once I got two more screws to put in and then what we'll do next is go ahead and get the heater unboxed. We'll use the big bobcat with the forks on it. That way we can lift it up and hold it wherever we need it. We'll be nice and <laughs> Even though it is January and uh, it is a cool, nice, brisk January day, it's about 60, I'm not 60, it's about 40. Uh, the highs, anyway, it's be around 40 degrees today, but we are in this greenhouse and it is warming up quite quickly. And so we're just glad we're not doing this in August. Because <laughs> it is, it is a little toasty. We keep shedding clothes. All right, so the heater is unboxed and I guess because of the fan on the back, they have to package it upside down. And when you flip it up and during shipping, these are the little, um, I don't know, vent guards, like they direct where the, the airflow goes. And on one end, there's a spring so you can put them in and you can adjust it. Well, a bunch of them had fallen out, so we were having to, fix them, put them back in, and one spring did go missing. Uh, it's floating around here somewhere, but we'll find it and then get it put back in. So now that the heater is unboxed, it is sitting the correct way. It is sitting on the pallet, and we'll go ahead, bring in the big bobcat with the forks, lift it up on the pallet, and go ahead and get it into the right height. That way, um, I have a feeling I will be the one <laughs> in the bobcat, so that way, the fellows can be the one um, getting everything hung on there. So let me show you, I think they're putting on the eye bolts and let me explain that whole process to you.
So the fellows decided to go ahead and um, do a kind of a predetermined, they came up with a one inch. And so you can see where Josh has already has the nut on there and he's now screwing it into the heater. Um, so um, they're making sure that they're one inch. So that way they'll all be level. It's a lot easier to do that now while it's on the ground than when it is hanging. But this is how it is. If we have to adjust it, we can loosen this bolt here. Yeah. And then get more down. Right. Right. So it's easy to adjust even when it's hanging. Um, but yeah, so this is how it does. They've got little holes. So it's all nice and in there and nice and secure right here. That's where they go. And then they'll have the four chains and they will get hung up. So that's the deal with that. So forgive me for it being a little noisy. The Bobcat is running because they have the heater up and they were able to go ahead and get it nice and perfectly level. They made sure that the pallet is level and then they are getting those chains um, put through those eye bolts. You can see that it's just wrapped around the rails one time and then they will once those chains are attached with the bolts that all come with the heater kit and then Jerry will come down and let that heater down to make sure that it is nice and level because of course we want the heater to be level it just makes sense right and then back here in the back you can see um, the fan we've got good clearance away from the wall and lots of room um, for the exhaust pipe will come out uh, it's very hard to see but on the other side of the fan there's a hole and it will have a pipe that goes across and then um, it'll be above the little hallway roof and get vented out above all the roofs up there so have nice good clearance for that so things are progressing quite nicely in here um, especially once we see when he lowers down the bobcat make sure it's all nice and level and we'll be good to go From the way that they're laughing with one another, I'm thinking it's not level. <laughs> we'll see, but I think that means it's not level, one way or another. Is it level? No, no. <laughs> I didn't think it was, the way y'all were looking at each other. So today's project is officially complete. For today the heater is hung they got it all nice and level so we can check this project off of the list and there you go bobcat and everything all the, all the equipment's still in here the boys are taking a little bit of a of a water break back there but the next steps what will be taking place is electrical uh gas and then getting everything um the vent they've got to get all that hooked up in the piping and all of that so I was talking to Josh and they're going to have to do a little bit of reframing work around right here to hold all of that. So you can see, let me move over here a little bit. Um, so the fan, and then if you can see that silver circle, 
not this one, the one up there at the top, that is where the vent comes out. Um, and so then it will go through, the pipe will go through and up and out. So it is nice to have this checked off the list today. We are gonna kinda take a, a half day today and just work till lunchtime. Uh, today is Thursday. Yes, today is Thursday. So it is our date night. So we're actually gonna go out tonight. And uh, so those of you that are like, what are you talking about? So for a long time, Jerry, ever since our kids were itty bitties, we started doing Thursday night every week. We have, we call it date night. 99% of the time it is at the house and just very low key. But now that the kids are older and we can get out of the house, uh, that is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna get all gussied up and go out and have a nice dinner and have fun. So we wanna not kill ourselves today and so we can enjoy each other's company and not fall asleep while we're eating dinner. So that is what we are gonna do, just take it easy. It is a gorgeous sunny day here in North Carolina, so we're gonna soak up as much vitamin D as is possible. Uh, but of course, the next adventure will bring you along for it. As always, thanks so much for joining the Creekside. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye friends.